McKenna, this is your fourth trip back to the mm -hmm. Foot Locker Championships, and there are really not many people that have done that. So congratulations on that Thank so you. far. But, you know, this has been a really good year for you. You've had a really good string of four years. And, you know, talk about what it means to kind of cap off your, your career, your high school career here, and, you know, what you're looking forward to on Saturday. Well, I'm super excited because this is like the best experience of my whole entire like career so far. Every every year I look forward to coming to nationals here and looking forward to trying to make it. And um, so being here for my last cross country race is amazing. And um, definitely for Saturday, I mean, it's my last year to try to win the whole thing. So that's, that's my goal. So, I mean, you never know. I'm just going to go out there and run fast and fun and just see how it goes. You said at your the regional race, you weren't worried so much about time. Mm -hmm. You were just trying to stay within yourself and actually just just run an easy race to qualify but you ended yeah. up running very fast and yeah. um, you you know won by a huge margin so you know are you surprising yourself with not how good you are but you know how fit you've become and how you can handle these races I think so because I'm I mean yeah I was just going to run that nice and relaxed and um, I think it, I was just like whoa I didn't I didn't realize that it was going to be that quick there and I kind of had a tough beginning of the season this year so I think it's definitely coming along good now what was Solid going on um nothing was going on really I just didn't have I had a couple not great races so I think everything's just kind of fitting together now just which is good perfect time to fit together <laughs> perfect time to peak um now kind of fun because your sister is actually mm -hmm. racing here with you there's been twins here before yep yep <laughs> I don't know if there's been civil oh yes there have been some siblings but I don't know the first, same year yeah I think yep I think we're like the second pair of sisters I know okay. there was a brother or sister but yeah Wow. So what does it feel like to have your little sister, ninth grader, and mm -hmm. she runs crazy fast on the track and mm -hmm. on, on cross country courses, but you know, she's a sub 450 miler. So <laughs> what does it feel like to have her tugging at your heels? It's so amazing. Cause like now I have a training partner, which is awesome. And uh, we run together all the time. And it's just awesome to have like her here and like showing her everything that I've always talked about, but she's never got to experience yet. So this year I think it'll be awesome for both of us to be here together. So, okay, then to, you know, cap it off, you have a teammate that is also yep, here. Yep. And Annie Hill? Is yep, yeah, and she's not our team, but she's uh, from the same valley. From so, the same valley. Yeah, so we're not on teams, but we run, you know, with each other. So, yeah. So, you guys claim each other. Yeah, we're, we're basically, you know, we're basically teams. Yeah, <laughs> we're teammates. <laughs> so, you know, I mean, all to be pushing each other and chasing dreams and, you know, be able to have each other there, you know, if it's not every week, then every other week that you get mm -hmm. to see each other at meets. You know, that's kind of what this sport's all about. And what I, now as a senior and someone that's been here four years, what do you, what kind of lessons have you learned from being at races like Foot Locker, or just being the caliber runner you are? I've just learned more to like kind of, if you're at these races, just kind of have fun, like enjoy them because you you never know when you're going to get this kind of race again. And just to go out there and relax and just run like you normally run because sometimes that can be kind of hard with everybody here. So just go out and, you know, have fun and relax and yeah. How do you keep the pressure under control? I mean, this is a big race for you, a lot of eyes on you. Mm -hmm. How do you stay under control? Um, it's be it's a lot better now. Definitely my sophomore year is probably the worst, but I think I just try to, same thing I said before, have fun and just kind of just more relax and just try to like take it like little things at a time and just kind of stay in the moment and, and it's good. Can you give us a little insight on what your plan is for Saturday? Um, are you going to run it like you've been running every other race or do you have a real strict race plan for Saturday? Um, probably like every other race. Sometimes when I treat it like it's a way big one, it doesn't go very well. So I'm just gonna kind of go out there and be relaxed and see what happens. What's your favorite part of the weekend besides running really fast at Balboa? Yeah, other than the race, um, <laughs> I wanna say probably Saturday um, afternoon when you get to like, you're all the pressure's off, you're just like all free to do anything you want and go hang out with all the amazing people here. That's probably my favorite thing. And meeting, just meeting all the girls and boys here that um, I have the same passion as you do. That's so awesome.